Anand are present here. Today I am going to speak on the topic about a lesson from COVID-19. The coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 has spread rapidly since the first cases hit Wuhan, China at the end of 2020 and has now landed in almost every part of the world. Although it would be many months or even years before the final verdict can be reached, we believe that it is already possible to identify some key lessons that we can learn from to reduce the tremendous economic and social cost of this pandemic and which can inform responses to future crises. Among a plethora of messages on COVID-19 was a request to God to reboot 2020 as it has a virus. But the reality is that nations across the globe will have to reboot their thoughts and creativity to tackle the deadly spread of this pandemic. One consolation is that a pandemic does not anchor itself for eternity. It will die. But, but before that, the corona effect could have changed many aspects of our life, ranging from healthcare to social norms and leave behind a deep economic scar that would take years to heal. COVID-19 has already sounded a warning bell that despite of our scientific claims and achievements, we are deeply unprepared to handle a pandemic. Here, the first impact would be on healthcare. Future healthcare systems should be well prepared to battle pandemics whenever they break out. We have to near complete knowledge on tackling major killers like heart elements, cancer, lifestyle diseases, AIDS, etc. But not a virus. The battle against novel diseases such as COVID-19 may require novel approaches and technology. Robots and artificial intelligence can play a vital role on the front lines of this work. For example, in some countries, drones are being used to deliver supplies and equipment. In other, robots are training patients and relieving healthcare workers from the, some of their duties. Furthermore, robots deliver food and medicines and other some robots with UV units are being used to disinfect hospitals and other large buildings. Nurses, doctors, social workers, and the frontline fighters in the battle have the highest risk of exposure to the virus that suffered high fatality. In the post-COVID world, countries need to create healthcare systems that protect and insulate health workers in better ways. Telemedicine and virtual medicine have been used due to a limited extent in many Western countries. These needed to become universal, even used in the poorest countries. From Beijing to Delhi, the shutdown has cleaned the air pollutants, reducing respiratory diseases too. Oceans and rivers have cleaned up. Residential areas are seeing the return of the wildlife. The quality of air has improved drastically. The ozone layer has started repairing itself. Whenever there are signs of pandemic, we should be able to isolate the elderly, patients with comorbidity and children who are either underweight or malnourished. We need to promote the original R&D and strengthen our drug and vaccination development program further. Coronavirus had a happy website too. They have shown the world the strength of our pharma segment. India could export life-saving drugs to major countries, in, including the developed world. Due to COVID-19, around 1.6 billion children are being deprived of their education. But children and families are try, which teachers are trying to keep their best the learning. All children should be equipped with the resources, including remote learning and technology, to continue their education, even if they are not physically at school. Our government needed to make appropriate provisions for supporting the population in cases of such calamities or pandemic always short knocks and downs the economies world over. COVID-19 is no exception. 2020 could be the worst year for the global economy in nearly a century. But in future, India should have strong mechanism to take care of the people at the base of the pyramid who actually oil and run the wheels of the nation's economy. Only they can put the economy back on track. The bottom line is that India has to have a robust action plan when a pandemic strikes. A plan is, that is creative, disciplined and above all sensitive. When we work together, even small personal action when put together like physical distancing can make a big difference helping us to overcome huge challenges. Let's not go back to normal. Let's create a new normal one once this is all over. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. A very pleasant good morning to all. I am Sharmila of 6. I am studying in Don Bosco Medication Higher Secondary School. I am living in Delhi's. I am going to speak about lessons from COVID-19. COVID-19 is a pandemic disease. It's it is made by China, Wuhan City. In this COVID-19 can teach us a lesson. Like the lockdown people, people do not have their freedom life. They have in a restructured area depend on this disease. Poor people can affect this COVID-19 due to no job, no money, no food. 
billions of people are in lockdown unable to visit one another unable to attend school unable to work unable to meet one another in public place government has making lot of rules to save us from covid 19 nurses doctors and social workers they fall fighters in the battle have the highest risk of exposure to the virus and have sub- suffered high fatality Tele- telemedicine and virtual medicine are in are used to the to a limited extent in many western countries by this i conclude this topic stay home stay safe thank you to all my name is a satish kumaran i am studying in 6th standard my school name is prince shivari senior secondary school i am going to talk about online education online it is controlled by or connected to a computer or to the internet education the teaching or training of people especially in schools on january 1 1983 and from these research researchers began to assemble the network of networks that became the modern internet it was invented by robert e kahn and when self advantage and disadvantage of online education nowadays online learning turns out to be a more and more practiced it represents a great way to study many fields and to boost the level of self motivation online learning is so effective because students can finish their homework quickly this advantage online learning cannot after human interaction another disadvantage refers to the fact that online courses cannot cope with thousands of students that try to join discussions only in a small group a person could develop properly thousands of people turn to online it is highly important to say that learning is no longer confined within the four walls in the classroom online education serves to be a time saving and cost effective pro- procedure for any career it help us build opinions have points to view one thing in life it is also known the information resources and everywhere often separated from the learn by time and space it is noted that that area variety of online education solution for every education need thank you for giving me a best opportunity thank you to all good morning i am k adarsh from sixel in your school and junior college today i am going to speak about online education in earlier days people didn't have much exposure to global knowledge after the invention of technologies like in internet smartphones etc online education bloomed then schools and colleges developed a student had to complete 14 years of school and 2 to 4 years of college now we will see what happened during the covid-19 lockdown nowadays we have online classes in mobile laptop etc 
We sometimes we see our teachers in online classes, but sometimes they send us homework, pictures, and videos in an app, and we are not able to see them. The homework takes a lot of time, so it will be a fight or fight for gadgets with parents and siblings. The teachers can't see us whether we are playing or listening to class during online classes. The apps that help us during online classes are Google Meet, Cisco Webex, etc. In the same way, apps that help us share homeworks, videos, and pictures are called Parent App, Google Drive, etc. We can see the pictures clearly and hear the audio during a recorded video. A teacher can see a child and a child can see a teacher during online classes. But a teacher or child cannot see another teacher or child doing recorded video. There will be some background noises which will disturb the teacher between the class. The teacher cannot teach the time during online classes. So, both online classes and recorded video have positive and negative points. Mm. Online education depends on ga electronic gadgets which is not good for health. I miss my friends and my classroom. I also miss physical exercise because there is no PT paid and I miss my friends playing after the school. As a whole, Online education gives us anytime, anywhere learning. The emotion, but emotional bondage between the students and teachers is missing. Follow lockdown rules, wear masks, keep social distancing, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Namaste. My name is K. Bala Saswati. I am studying 7th grade. I hail from DAP school. During this pandemic COVID-19, we have been in house since the month of March. During this period, children have been wasting time. Because of this, the schools have started the online education and my school also started the online class since a month ago. So, today I am going to talk about disadvantages and advantages of online classes. First, let's see about advantages of online classes. Apart from chalk and board method, we are learning how to learn from online. Instead of watching TV, we are spending our time productively and we can also finish the syllabus. In virtual, we can learn the concepts behind the lesson. For example, in solar system, we can learn how the planets revolve around the sun. In physics, we can learn how the pendulum clock works. In chemistry, we can see how different salts produce different colors. So, these are all the advantages of online classes. So, let's go on to disadvantages of online classes. Sitting in front of uh, gadgets for 3 to 4 hours will deteriorate our health. Seeing continuously gadgets will affect our eyes. Listening through headphones and uh, earphones will spoil our ears. Sitting in front of gadgets continuously will bring us back pain. Yet another disadvantages are there is many there are competition for gadgets in many houses and I miss my physical education in school. To sum up, we see that there are both good and bad in online education. I feel that I miss my friends and teachers in person. I want the pandemic to be alright sooner. I thank Bharati Women College for giving me such an opportunity to express my views on online education. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay home. Hi, I am Hidayana studying class 8 in Infant Jesus Matriculation High Secondary School located in Tirupur, Palalam. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk about online education which has been ruling everywhere these days. I don't want to take it too long. Let's get into the topic. Mm -hmm. For good reasons, the internet is buzzing with positive information about online education. The advantages are numerous from 
lower cost accessibility to flexibility however a quick look around the real world clearly demonstrates the most students are choosing traditional classes are these people just ignorant no there can be multiple drawback to online education in comparison to traditional classroom traditional classroom education the first disadvantages of online education lack of accreditation and low quality before you enroll in any online course check that the program is accredited and verify this information with the accrediting agency legitimate schools or established university to newer co- online colleges are proud of their status with accrediting agencies and agencies are happy to good schools therefore this information is readily available online for you to check if you are a degree from a school with no accreditation you can find you can find yourself with a worthless degree that will give you in depth and no better preparement for the workforce verifying an online program programs accreditation is a small step that can save you time money and heartache in a long run the second disadvantage is of online education little or no face to face interaction while this may seem obvious students have a tendency to underestimate the impact of never meeting the instructor and other students in the class Mark Edmondson, an English professor at the University of Virginia, argued in a Tamil Time opinion piece that that online education creates a monologue and not a real dialogue in the online in the learning environment. Building a relationship with your instructor and classmates will require your effort in an online education. The third disadvantage of online education more work online courses typically requires a greater amount of reading and assignments than traditional class program is a general or, or improving the quality of their online courses and this means that students will have to will have to do more to more, prove that they have mastered the material expect the spent of the 10 hours a week on each online online course however it is not un- uncommon for a single course to require 15 or 20 hours per week the fourth disadvantage of online courses intense requirements for self discipline online courses usually have de- deadlines for assignments tests commenting on lectures etc that is not a problem the problem is the time management and organization skills necessary to the stay on top of your work a lot and appropriate amount of time to complete each task and balance your course work against other appropriate in your life if you tend towards procrastination then you might need to strengthen your skill set before choosing an online course or program the fifth disadvantage of online education even more intense requirement for self direction traditional colleges programs typically offer a offer or requires that students meet with advisor to help them plan plan their path in college if you only need a course or two this is not a issue however if you are pursuing an entire degree online you will need to be proactive in finding the information you need to ensure uh, that you are taking the right classes for your degree plan straying from this path could could constitute failures uh, could constitute failures uh, to uh, to make the academic progress and you may have to trouble secure, securing fi- financial aid despite the potential pitfalls the vast majority of people are satisfied with their online education and happy that they choose it over traditional class classroom education if you know the positives and negatives you can make an info, informed decision whether online learning is right for you thank you stay safe stay home namaste i am david butterford of sanjay godavar international school belgavi i am studying in grade 6 hence i am in category 1 
Today I am speaking on the topic lessons from COVID-19. COVID-19, a dreadful disease caused by novel coronavirus, has become a worldwide pandemic. The origin of the virus is still unknown, although there are many theories behind it. Some say it was created with genomic mutation in the Chinese laboratories, while others say it spread from the meat market in the Wuhan district of China. The effect on this pandemic on the human race has been staggeringly huge. It has spread at a terrifying speed across nations, taking a huge toll on lives and economy. Children and senior citizens are at a higher risk to be critically ill due to COVID-19. The worst part is that the world has come to a standstill due to lockdown conditions in many countries. Sadly, even in this grave situation, Countries are vying with each other for money and power. The entire human race is desperately waiting for either a vaccine or a remedial cure for COVID-19. Keeping all these points in mind, we as individuals should look at the positive aspect also and learn some valuable lessons from this pandemic. All of us are taking the ca- are taking care of our hygiene washing hands, maintaining social distancing, wearing masks to avoid droplet infection, but this is not the only aspect to learn. Speaking of health, we have to make note of increasing our immunity to fight such diseases. Immunity does not increase overnight. Our body has to be in a healthy state for years together to have good immunity. So eating healthy, exercising regularly, taking proper rest is equal to good immunity. This is this is the first and the most important lesson COVID-19 has taught us to be healthy both physically and mentally too. The next aspect is money. Yes, we all need money to live. Due to this pandemic, people have lost jobs, companies have become bankrupt, industries have closed down. So on an individual level, we should learn that saving money is very important. Every penny saved Rather, I would say rupee. Every rupee saved is every rupee earned. In such difficult times, people who have saved some money can tide over. So the second lesson is to save any amount we can and keep it aside for for such needy times. Talking of needy times, COVID-19 has showed us with glaring clarity the difference between needs and wants. Coronavirus Coronavirus has made the importance of essentials than luxuries. For example, having a pizza is a luxury or a want, but having rice is our is an essential thing, our daily needs. So, lesson learned to give pri- to prioritize between our needs and wants. The frontliners Fighting COVID-19, that is, the doctors, policemen, government officials are at a greater risk to be infected. We, we as a part of the same society are indebted to them and should do our bit for the society in return. COVID-19 has showed us the way that if, that if the entire society is healthy and safe, each one of us, each one of us individually Will be healthy and safe too. Society can be our society can be healthy only when the surrounding conditions are conducive towards it, like fresh air, less pollution, clean food, go, better good education, respect and empathy towards fellow human beings and animals. Hence, one lesson learned leads to another, like a chain reaction. Let's all implement on these precious precious lessons learned. On this note. I now conclude my speech with the new wise catchphrase, be safe, be healthy, be positive in thoughts, but be negative in COVID-19. Thank you. Good morning. I am Bhavatar Grele from SPK International School, CBSC. I am very happy to participate in the oral presentation titled Online Education, organized by 
Bharati Women's College, Coimbatore. We all know that online education is an education through online using internet. Computers, smartphones and internet are not evil to the students. It is up to how and why we are using it. Many schools and colleges prefer online education for students to teach lessons. Now I am going to explain that online education is useful for learning in current COVID-19 pandemic situation. Because I am one of the beneficiary of online education of my learning. In this online education, students can interact with teachers when they have some queries in their lessons. It helps to improve the knowledge of students, especially some technical concept in science and mathematics can be easily understand through online education using videos and animated tools. Visual classroom effect can also motivate the students to participate the interaction with the teachers and avoid hesitation to ask questions and clarifications. It is not teacher centered learning, it is student centered learning. We can learn not only syllabus oriented topics, even learn how to use the apps and online tools for attending virtual classes. Our government launched MOOC classes which means a massive open online courses for students. It is very useful for a massive number of students. Our Indian government started 28 media centers for e-content development and online education to students. One of the media center is in the Madurai Kamaraj University, Madurai, nearby my area, Alpukote. NPTEL, which means National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning, funded by MHRD, Government of India, sponsored the online courses for all grade students. National Learning Center for Online Education initiated by UNESCO. Now I experience that world has come to my home through online mode. Even I am entering Barbie Women's College Expo program through online. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Good evening to one and all. I am Prima Gavadani, grade 7 from Bishop Devdas Ambrose Vidyalaya Tanjavur. First of all, I congratulate the Department of Chemistry faculty members of Bharati Women's College to organize this program in this crucial time. Today I am going to deliver the topic Lessons from COVID-19. This COVID-19 has changed our lives beyond our imagination. It's a great challenge for us to recover from COVID-19 worldwide. Billions of people are in lockdown, unable to visit one another, unable to go to work, unable to attend school, even unable to meet one another in public places also. People around the world are in desperate straits, struggling at home. At the time of external danger, we instinctively desire to be close to our family and friends, help hold their hands and embrace them. But now, we are forbidden to do so. For every act of physical contact, every expression of physical loving, kindness and compassion could bring illness and death. We are confronted with the true uncertainty of existence and the true vulnerability of human life. How often have so many of us believed that we are supreme masters of the world around us? The COVID-19 pandemic shows us how wrong we were. We are brought for face to face with the most basic questions of life. What are we here for? What do we yet wish to do if give the opportunity? Number three, who is truly important on our lives? Number four, what is it we truly cherish? The COVID-19 pandemic shows us 
How terribly is it really to waste our lives embroiled in endless battles for wealth and status and power? And also, it demonstrates us the values of freedom, the freedom to live in dignity and security for ourselves and for the these around us. One individual cannot succeed without the cooperation of others. One individual cannot succeed without the cooperation of others. The COVID-19 pandemic highlights the danger of ignoring our interdependence and the importance of global cooperation. It shows us with crystal clarity that all of humanity is in the same boat. It shows us with crystal clarity that all of humanity is in the same boat. This is the lesson that we must take care into the post-COVID-19 world. Thank you for this golden opportunity. Respected all, good morning. My name is BK Vijayabhirami Bala Sundaram. I am studying in 8th standard A section. My school name is Prince Srivari Senior Secondary School. My address is 1 bar 82 Subramaniam Covid Street, Mumbara Sampet, Madipakam, Chennai 600091. I am going to tell about the lessons from COVID-19. Corona has brought it with the wave of negative outcomes, terrible healing and death but it has highlighted some important life lessons. We can see some important life lessons. You should wash your hands whether there is a virus or not. General hygiene is very important. Suppose there is a virus in your hand, you will be not knowing that. When you are moving out, the virus can spread to the nearby person. So we should wash our hands regularly all the time. Second lesson, taking care of the health could save life. If you are feeling sick, just stay home. Lots of people feel like their office environment doesn't encourage the uh, doesn't encourage their uh, care. But when most of the people like to appear like martyrs to their manager. Third lesson: learn to appreciate nature. If you are living in spacious uh, outdoor or like the desert area or uh, like an empty road with lined trees could realize you the safe but and the another thing is we you can realize the beauty of nature this is the third lesson last lesson what i am going to tell is over the last month in dubai the uh, the life of the people has distracted all over the world and it changes the world to the full of corona so the outbreaks of corona virus the outbreaks of corona virus it's not just epidemic but it's also pandemic so thank you Thank you for giving me the opportunity for this competition. Stay safe. Be safe. Thank you.